today we're going to visit Ron Coleman Crystal Mine. It is located just west of Little Rock and just north of Hot Springs, Arkansas. I'm going to zoom up over here a little bit so we can see a little bit more clearly um, how to get to it. I'm going to switch over to satellite view. There we go. And we're going to drive up this Crystal Ridge Lane. We're going to come up here. And this is the main parking lot uh, right here. And you see all the cars that are parked in right there. Uh, you'll go in and there will be a really nice gift shop. Uh, they will have indoor plumbing as far as like for bathrooms and all of that stuff. Uh, you pay and you'll get a wristband. You'll have to sign a waiver uh, saying things that uh, like you cannot uh, try to chisel off or break off any pieces. Um, of the rocks or crystals or any of that stuff out, out here for safety uh, reasons and all that stuff. Uh, after you pay uh, and you get your wristband, uh, you will drive down here to the lower um, parking lot and you see the cars lined up here. And this is this tractor that we're going to walk through to come over here. And, and this area is the active area that we're going to be uh, sifting through all of the uh, different tailings piles. Uh, the trucks will drive up uh, from the pit down here. They will come up. Uh, drive up and they will dump off uh, the different loads uh, around in this area here and then after they've been sifted through uh, several or several times uh, gone through they'll just push them off uh, further and you see all this uh, stuff being dumped over here. Uh, that said there is about a 300 foot uh, pit. Uh, they have a um, a zip line that you can go across here and go over top of their uh, their mining uh, pit. Uh, I have never done it, but I've seen quite a few people do it. It looks pretty fun. All right, guys, let's make our way back to the mine and let's get filthy. This is a huge single crystal point. It's just outside the door where you walk into the entrance of the gift shop and where you're going to pay to enter the mine. Down in it. This is fluoride. Well, no, fluoride is like fluoride. Go stand next to it, son. On Coleman Mining. A little panorama. There's a wash station over there. They've got two different hoses. You got one right there and one right over there. And yeah, let's go do it. So here we go, about to go through. Uh, social distancing applies outdoors. Try to stay six feet apart from each other. And we'll walk through. Lots of big rocks on the sides. Old tailings piles. Um, right in front of you and to the right over here. It's about 9.30 in the morning. They said that they've done a few loads already this morning. Uh, but we'll see. So we're going to go find some fresh dirt. That looks uh, freshly turned up. So we just got here up to the top. They recently plowed all this stuff over. Um, what we're going to do is do a little bit of surface searching and see if we can find anything shiny. Got a little cultivator tool and a bucket. I'm all set. Let's go have some fun. I have a disadvantage though. I'm a guy and guys aren't supposed to be able to find anything. All right, Amethyst, Ron Coleman. Amethyst can also look a little bit sometimes. I... Here it is a little more cleaned up. As you can see, it has a little bit of smoky at the bottom. For comparison, here it is next to a similar sized and shaped clear quartz crystal. I found one other piece that looked like it had a little bit of purple in it as well. Here it is next to a clear quartz crystal for comparison. While waiting on the trucks to dump some fresh loads, we thought we'd check out some of the old tailings piles. Hey Dad, look at this. I got just found a cluster. Oh, 
Yowza! My goodness, boy. Here's that same cluster cleaned up a little bit. This is one of my son's finds that was down in all that mud he was just walking around in. Here's a few more. Take a look at what I had found. This plate is on a rock that's probably about 250 pounds or so. This is after I did the first initial rinse over at the wash station. Here it is at home. The rock itself is about three feet long and at least two feet wide. My problem is that I have a lot of excess of rock and I need to trim it down some so that I can properly display it. So what I did is I got a hammer and a chisel and I just went to town on it. It was my first time doing that, so I was a little nervous.
Ron Coleman. There you go, son. If you ever get any clay, you can get it. Hang on to it. Inside of that ball of clay, you're going to find crystal after crystal after crystal. And they love to grow. Look at that. Right there in that ball of clay. Look at that. Little water clear thing.
Well, this concludes our video. Be sure to subscribe and leave a comment, and I will pick one lucky winner to receive this rose rock that I got from Lake Stanley Draper in Oklahoma. Also, this fossil I found in Jenkins Creek in Oklahoma. And also this crystal that I mined in Crystal Vista in Arkansas. As with this crystal that I found here in Ron Coleman Crystal Mine in Jesseville, Arkansas.